This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. Warmer weather headlines are forecast this week. A little rain this morning and maybe some strong storms later the week. Maybe a kind of a messy night for the trick-or-treaters Thursday night. Let's go in there and discuss. There's the big picture this morning as we start this work week. The upper trough over the east is pretty much gone. There is a short wave passing through this morning, helping to squeeze out this light rain. That was a view at uh, 5.04 this morning. Heavier rain falling up around Gadsden and Jacksonville, Piedmont, uh, Fruithurst over there in East Alabama, but mostly light rain. All that's moving east, and most of that should be over by midday today. Again, back to that uh, uh, water vapor satellite view. The other thing to watch is the big upper low out in the west, and uh, that will be progressive. And again, that could set up some active storms here later this week, and we'll talk about that potential as we go. Starting off the day in the 50s, so not as cold this morning as recent mornings. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 59 right before daybreak. On the watch warning map, some fog issues around Dallas-Fort Worth and Little Rock and Memphis. Winter weather problems out west, especially over Montana, where they're going to be hammered with heavy snow over the next uh, 36 hours. In the warm sector, severe storms could break out later today and tonight over parts of Kansas. Tomorrow, a slight risk over parts of the South Plains of Texas and the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. This is day three on Wednesday, a risk of severe weather from Abilene and Dallas-Fort Worth up to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, almost up to Kansas City. And of course, this is the one that catches our eye. This is day four. A risk extends into northwest Alabama, and that would be a Thursday night. The core of the risk is, is west of here, and we will review the possibilities extensively as we go along. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at the 7 o'clock local time, and this is showing rain amounts of about 1 to 1 and a half inches here with heavier totals south and west. And the tropics, very quiet. And, there's you know, something could develop in the deep tropics in November, but in terms of threats for the Gulf Coast, you can pretty much stick a fork in the season because of the cooler water. All right, this is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. Little uh, wave that is producing the rain this morning is moving east of here, so again, we think by you know midday the rain will be gone. Big trough in the west, and there's the surface chart. Deep surface low, 985 millibars developing on the Nevada-Idaho border, and that's going to bring some really nasty snow to Montana. In terms of our weather today, this is the high-res NAM at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Still showing some light rain east of Birmingham. So the rain, uh, again, could linger into the early afternoon over the eastern part of the state. But this is 7 o'clock this evening. It is gone. All right, let's go to tomorrow. Should be a, a warmer day. Thickness values are coming up. Sky partly to mostly sunny. And we start to warm up. We'll be well up in the 70s, mid-70s. Maybe even upper 70s in spots. And this is Wednesday. Same thing. We'll do upper 70s. Pretty good breeze kicks in out of the south. That surface low out west is uh, near Omaha, 1,005 millibars, with showers and storms down below that on the trailing front. All right, this is Thursday, Halloween, October 31st, end of the month. Pretty robust trough moving through the uh, Midwest. Down below that, the surface low is pretty far north, and that's, that's a good thing for us. It's 988 millibars over the upper peninsula of Michigan with a trailing front down through Little Rock and College Station, Texas. And a band of showers and storms Thursday morning coming through Memphis and places like Shreveport, Monroe, Louisiana. And then this is Thursday night just after midnight. This is 1 a.m., and the showers and storms are in here. Uh, the GFS would suggest the showers and storms could creep into a northwest Alabama Thursday afternoon, the rain and storms becoming widespread Thursday night. The uh, surface low is very far north of here. It's almost up to uh, James Bay in Canada. And then Friday at 1 o'clock, the uh, showers and storms are down in southeast Alabama with the uh, northern half of the state in drier air. But again, the European is slower. This is the same time frame. This is Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock. And it's got the showers and storms kind of ending around Birmingham and the Interstate 59 corridor. So, uh, you know, we'll adjust the timing later. But clearly Thursday night seems to be kind of the target time for showers and storms. 
So will there be severe weather? Let's look at some of the parameters, and, and we're going to select Thursday evening at 7 o'clock for these maps. Uh, this is OZ November 1st, and again, local time, that's 7 o'clock Thursday evening, October 31st. This is the uh, uh, look at 850 millibars. This is the low-level jet, if you will. And uh, we do note that uh, the, the jet kind of sets up there across North Alabama. You can see those 50-knot winds around Columbus, Mississippi, 55 knots around Huntsville, then 60 to 70 knots farther north. Clearly, the higher wind fields are north of here. We're kind of on the tail end of this, and it's the same thing for the shear. This is the bulk shear in the lower 5,000 feet of the atmosphere between the surface and 850 millibars. There's a degree of shear here, but the big values are north of here. Uh, with the surface low and the dynamics north, the big shear north of here, that would really lessen any tornado problems. So unless this changes, if we see strong storms, the main issue would be from strong straight line winds. And here's the other thing. This is the instability, and basically there's just not a lot here. And again, this is valid Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, and where you start to see those green shades in the Gulf, that's where the instabilities exceed 750 joules per kilogram. And uh, around here, the, the amounts are very marginal. I mean, the, the capes are positive. And yes, you can have severe weather with low capes. We all know that here. But that just doesn't suggest a big threat. So there could be some strong storms late Thursday or Thursday night. But uh, I'd say the tornado threat is, is relatively low. And the severe weather threat is relatively marginal here at this point, which is good news. And, you know, this does begin the fall tornado season, November 1st. So it doesn't look overwhelming. But remember, sometimes the modeling underestimates things. We do note the uh, surface dew points are projected to get up into the uh, mid-60s, and that's always kind of a red flag, um, you know, Thursday evening and Thursday night. So something to watch, but I'd say for now it looks rather marginal. All right, what about the weekend ahead? This is Saturday. New trough over the east. Down below that, cold air advection kicks in. Uh, the high Saturday will drop into the 60s with a good north breeze. The sky should be sunny. And there's a look at Sunday. The high pressure center is not too far away. Sunday morning will be pretty chilly. We'll be down around 40. There's a look at the temperature plot over the next five days. You can see how we trend up through Thursday night, then we trend down uh, with the bottom coming uh, Sunday morning with the low around 40. And there could be a touch of frost in spots, but it should not be as cold as what we experienced this past Saturday morning. Here's Monday, a week from today. We stay dry. Winds begin to beer back into the south. Right there toward the end of the forecast, this is the 11th of November. Got a 588 heat ridge over the western gulf. Pretty active flow uh, north and west of here, and uh, that would be relatively mild for us uh, out there in mid-November. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today, and we'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Janet from Just Talking It Up. I'd like to introduce my buddy, Ross. He couldn't be here because he got lost. But we would love for you to come and listen to us at Just Talking It Up. You can find us at BigBrainsMedia.com. You can listen to us on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, right?